of run from Two Dice Boxing with Matthew Hatton. Matthew, great to see you today. Uh, Craig Watson, tough challenge for you. It is, a, it is a tough challenge, but you know, one I've been ready for for, for quite a long time now. You know, uh, I, f I feel I've been uh, overlooked a little bit domestically. Um, you know, it's been a little bit frustrating. You know, I, I believe I'm the best welterweight in the country now. Um, so it's exactly the fight I want. Okay, you said in your press conference you're hugely underrated. Why is that? Um, I just, you know, really, you know, I had so little amateur career, but I turned professional, you know, quite early at 19. And, you know, silly little defeats have, have, have slowed me down, really. You know, when you, when, you, when you actually look at my record closely and look at my defeats, you know, my, my first defeat was a, was a diabolical decision very early in my career, and that's not me saying that. That's, that's from the boxing news. I lost the fight on a cup, which had won every round in the fight, and uh, I lost in a, a disqualification against Alan Bosworth. So if you look at me, my record a little bit more closely, I've never legitimately been been beaten really, and I think those defeats have have hindered my progress. Um, so you know, I think this is a big year for me, and uh, if I can win this this fight, this should uh, you know hopefully spring me born into bigger and better fights. Okay, you were meant to fight in the Carl Frog on the card, so hadn't had a What happened to that? Well, um, what happened there, the, uh, the original date that I was given for the fight was the 29th of March. In my fight in Las Vegas, uh, I had quite a bad, bad thumb injury, really. So I was out of the gym for a long while. My thumb was still bad, I was still having treatment. And when I, when I first learned of the date, it only gave me six weeks. I hadn't even done, begun punching then. I still wasn't able to punch, I was still receiving physio on my thumb. So what happened then... Um, they asked me if I minded if a lad called Mark, La Mark Lloyd uh, stepped in, into my shoes and challenged for the title, which I had no objections to. Um, so during that time, I was under the impression that Adnan and Mark was going to be fighting Mark Lloyd for the title. And during that time, you know, I started punching the gym. I had a fight on the horizon with a Mark fighting Lloyd. So um, Frank Maloney approached us about a possible fight with Craig Watson, which is obviously you know, no disrespect to the English title, which is a fabulous title to have. It's a better title and a better fight for me. Um, so we obviously accepted that for the 24th of May. But now, because, you know, Mick Hennessy's the date of his show has changed, you know, he's um, he's put an objection in to, to me fighting for the Commonwealth, saying I should be fighting to, you know, Omar for the English title. But, you know, I've been, I've been offered, you know, um, Mark Lloyd um, was, was supposed to be fighting Omar. You know, so that's that fight, you know, myself against Craig Watson. So I, I don't really know why he has a problem with it. You know, obviously, uh, an English title fight for me, if it was to fight a man on the 10th of May, you know, I'd have to take a significant pay cut, both, you know, purse-wise, sponsorship, and it's just uh, it's just a no-brainer for me, you know. Hopefully, you know, if, if a man fights Lloyd and, you know, I fight um, Craig Watson, you know, the winners of them, them bouts might meet that further down the line so I don't really know what the problem is really and I'm, I'm hopeful you know it, it'll be sorted out by the ball and the fight will be uh, for the Commonwealth title which it should be. Okay a lot of people also forget you fought in America recently as well for about two years now so it's also your homecoming as well what have you got to say to your fans? Yeah you know really looking forward to it you know me uh, my last few performances have been in America and have been uh, I've been a rapidly improving fighter you know in, improving all the time so uh, you know those fighters that haven't had the chance to see me fight in America, you know, I think we'll see a, a massive improvement and fighting a good, uh, a good level, you know, domestic fighter like Craig Watson, you know, if, if I can beat Craig, that shows the, that I'm improving again and uh, what, what kind of level I'm at. Okay, so how's training coming along then? I've been in training about two weeks for the fight now, you know, I've just started, uh, started punching the bags and the pads, I've not started any sparring yet because of obviously the, uh, the thumb injury, but um, I'll, I'll start me... Uh, now, now I know my form's going to be okay. I'll start my sparring and that. I'll do plenty of southpaw sparring. You know, there's some uh, some good southpaws in and around Manchester to spar with. So uh, I'm uh, I'm really looking forward to this fight and extremely confident going into it. Okay, what names have you got for sparring? Then? This uh, I seen Jamie Moore the other day. Jamie Moore is in the gym and he's, he's agreed to do some sparring with me. Obviously, David Barnes would have been good sparring, but he picked up a cut in his last fight, so I don't know what the situation is there. But there'll be no shortage of, uh, you know, Robert Diaz um, from America has offered, you know, he'll be bringing sparring partners over for Ricky. So if we need any, you know, any, the southpaw sparring won't be a problem, and I'll be doing plenty of it. Okay, well, it's a